Let's take forward each knee, salt, chip, go and gaze to the toward the sailing. Each knee, salt, chip, go. We have to wake up our hips. Look, sit, hatch, cup, do. Now extend your feet and just back, backward, forward movement. Each knee. Try to roll, roll your hips. San, chi, go. Hidali, gedan balai kamai te. From zenkutsu da chi, kamai. But stay in zenkutsu da chi. Okay, oizuki, chuda, mai. Ai, ch, oizuki. Push your hips forward. Sagari nagara, ni. Same place. So, have me in zenkutsu da chi, kamai. Keep your, your hands close to your body. So when you move, don't go up, down. You have to control your spine, your back. So this is all the purpose of this exercise. Okay? Oizuki, go. Look, hammy. Push on your front knee. Sish. Push on your front knee. Extend your back leg. Hatch. Your punch, your fist must not be late. You have to come. Oizuki. Ichi, ni, san, chi, go, all together. So you have to control with your inner muscles here, with your tongue then, you have to challenge the gravity. So here you have to challenge the gravity to stay in the middle. I don't want you to go only on your left when you are right mighty, but I want you to stay here like challenging the gravity. So same thing, we are hand here, so kamae, and we go mighty forward. So please do not, don't do, each and knee. Try to convey same time each my giddy. and try to control with your tongue then. So each please forward and now back knee come on. Sun control. I chi back. Try to always make your technique in one time. Try not to think one two, but instead one. So when you do aizuki, you don't want to be one, two. Even slowly you think one, one time. Maybe it can help to represent your technique with a sound. If you go each, it's like a heavy sound. And you try like lighter sound, lighter sound. The true technique is when you do it slow in slow motion because you cannot hide that you have not enough control. You cannot hide that you have a hip turning problem, that you have you are stiff. You cannot hide. So itch, down, touch your ankle, raise up. Knee, and up. And sun, down, 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 up. Shift our weight sideways. And from here, our weight is in the middle. So it will stretch, make a deep stretch to, to the right hip. So down, ten, ten times, each. Knee, sun, and you go down. So it will make the stretch deeper. You lift up your body and then you go down, 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 and you will feel more stretch on the side, which is up. And relax. Here, deeper, 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 deeper. My hips go from here, it goes here, here, it's like kind of open, but at the end it rotates, rotate, rotate, go up, come back, come back, come back, come back and rotate again. We don't want to go this way, we want to go this way. We want the hips to open. So this move will give the power of the kiagi. Try to here, to kick your left hand here, just by raising your hip and turning it. So your knee it don't, must not go here. Your knee goes sideways. Sideways here. You have to open. Open the hips here. You have your yokogiri here and you come here. Okay, let's try together. When you take it like this, you must feel, you should feel a, a stretch here and try to lower your knee. Okay. Ten times, itch!
Me! So, you try to, you must be relaxed here, and from here, relax. From here, relax. Relax. Slightly open the hip, and from here you go up, turn, come back, until here, or till here. But try to have a very, very relaxed kick. I itch! Okay, knee! You don't want my washigiri to go this way. This is maybe good looking for the picture, but it's not my washigiri. My washigiri should be down, up and down. When you raise here your knee, my washigiri goes, and this is the knee facing the target. And you go here, maybe target is Jordan, but you don't want your Jordan to make like this. From here, you want your kick to go here and to go and down here. It's going down here and your body is going the other way. So here, raise your heel, raise your knee. And now Mawashigiri, each up and down. So your heel must not touch the floor. You have only which we, what we call koshi that must be on the floor. And knee back here. So now, during all the exercise, we try to raise our knee as much as possible. And we try to make a up-down movement from our shigiri. And san. Turn your hips and your body should turn the other way. I chi. So same exercise, but you don't use your hand. From here, you just have maybe your legs is here. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. But you just try here. You just try here. Try here to use your hips to eat. I usually I like to open here because from here I open then close for my washigiri. But your feeling, feel to kick with this last hips movement. Relax. Go. It must be very, 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 very relaxed. Look, it's a light kick. So we can spend hours working on that kind of uh, preparation exercises for the kicks, but we have to to build a, a global understanding of the kick. We have to build an overall correct technique. And by making some little exercises, we had some uh, insights, some feelings to our kick. But the final and most important thing is the kick itself. When you perform it, when you are in Zenkutsuzachi or when you are in Jukame. Here, you raise and you turn and make the big turn. This is a great exercise, but only to improve your range of motion, to improve your feeling and to build your muscles for mawashigiri. But real mawashigiri cannot be here. So when you do mawashigiri, try to go straight to your target. My target is here, so my kick come here. It must make a straight line. My target is here, my kick must come here. So my kick go here directly. So if you go in the motion, your mawashigiri should go in the motion, in the motion, not back here, but in the motion here, because your goal is to reduce the time between your thought of mawashigiri and the impact of your mawashigiri. But in order to improve your overall technique, you have to improve your flexibility everywhere in your body. You must stretch, of course, for hips and hamstrings, but also for the back, the shoulders, because you want to be able to find more relaxation, even when it's very hard, when you, you make hours of kiho and your body is tired, you have to be, you have to, you want to be able to find some uh, piece of, pieces of relaxation. You want to be able to, uh, to relax your body uh, in all circumstances. So from here, inhale and exhale, bend forward. Relax your back, gaze a little forward to help you keep the back straight. Itch. 
now we go sideways on the left side each knee put your left foot little forward and now we go down each knee and stretch your thigh here and push each knee make a nice stretch thumb and make a big spinal stretch each gaze backward knee thumb each knee extend your right leg inhale and exhale back straight bend forward each knee sun chi go look sich hach ku ju relax here and now we go deeper in the stretch we add the hips stretch here try to extend your leg no problem if you are not touching the ground but you need to not be like this because all my weight is on my back knee so i want my weight to be on my hips so if you are here please extend so either like this or even like this it's better so extend your knee so that your weight is not on your knee and so go deeper in the stretch and we stay here hips forward please each knee sun chi go look sit hatch ku ai ju from here push on your hands come back on a nice down dog position extend your spine push the floor extend your legs 